Hi, I'm Tiffany. Today, I'm going to show you how to add two and three digit numbers. Adding two and three digit numbers. When adding two and three digit numbers, really the main thing you want to keep in mind is you need to line up the numbers by place value, then add like normal. Let's jump into example number one. Example number one is 54 plus 12. They've given us our example and it's written horizontally. We need to stack these numbers up on top of each other considering our place value. The place values for both numbers have to be directly on top of each other. Let me show you what I mean. I have 54. I'm going to rewrite that. Then I have 12. To line these up correctly, you would put the 1 under the 5 and the 4 under the 2. Lining up these two numbers correctly is pretty easy because both numbers only have two digits in them. Whenever you're dealing with two numbers and both numbers have the same number of digits, it's going to be pretty easy to line your numbers up. The 4 from the 54 is in the 1's place and the 2 from the 12 is also in the 1's place so they need to be directly on top of each other so they are and the 5 and the 1 need to be directly on top of each other so they are so the 54 just goes directly above the 12. Now you add each column and bring your answer directly underneath the line. 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 plus 1 is also 6. So the answer to example number 1 is 66. Let's go on to example number 2. Example number 2. 29 plus 19. I need to stack these two numbers on top of each other considering place value again. But again, this is an easy example when it comes to knowing how to line our numbers up because both numbers only have two digits in them. So I have 29 and I have 19. 9 plus 9 is 18. We have a problem. We cannot write 18 directly under our 9 because 18 is a two digit number. We can't write two digit numbers directly under a column that is only supposed to have a single digit in it. So what we do is whenever we get a number, an answer um, that's two digits, we always take the number that's in the 1's position and write it down. So in this case that's the 8. The other number gets carried over to the next column. Here is where you put your 1. So now we've completed our first column and the answer for our first column should have an 8 in it. So that means our answer is going to have an 8 in the 1's place. The 1 got carried over so now we're going to add the numbers in our second column or the numbers that are in our tenths place. So I'm going to take the 1 and add it to my 2 and that gives me 3 and I'm going to add the 3 that I just got to this one and it gives me 4. So the answer to number 2 is 48. Let's go on to example number 3. Example number 3 843 plus 94 this one is a little more complicated when we consider lining the numbers up um, in relationship to place value. That's because 843 has three digits in it, but 94 only has two digits in it. So I must know what I'm doing here. I have to know how these numbers get lined up. And the way they get lined up is considering the number in their place value. So. I'm going to rewrite my first number, the 843. Now I need to line up this 94 directly underneath this 843, but I need to line it up in the correct position. So I'm looking at this 9 and I'm looking at this 4. I know that my 9 is in the tenths place. I know the 4 is in my ones place. So that means on this number, 843, I must line this number up into the same position. So the 4 from the 843 is what is in the tenths place and the 3 from the 843 
is what's in the ones place. So I need to put the 94 under the 4 and the 3 because the 9 needs to be in the tens place still and the 4 needs to be in the ones place still. So I'm going to write my 94 in. 9 goes under my 4 and my 4 goes under my 3. Now I'm adding. 3 plus 4 is 7. 4 plus 9 is 13. Again, we have the same issue like we had before. 13 is a two digit number, so I can't put two digits directly under this column. I can only put my 3 down and carry my 1 over. Now it's time for me to add everything that's in this column. I have a 1, I have an 8, and there's nothing right here. What does that mean if there's nothing right here? This is the same thing as 0. So we don't need to add that because we know if we add 0 to anything, it's not going to change the value. So really, I only have a 1 and an 8 to add. When I add 1 and 8, I get 9. So I write that in. If I were to think of it as a 0 actually being here or writing it, or write it in to help me out, which you can do if you want to, that would be 1 plus 8 plus 0, and that would still give you 9. So if you think of the, if you think of that space as having a 0 or not, you're still going to get the correct answer. Let's move on to example number 4. Example number 4, we have 45 plus 32. We have a little help this time because our two numbers are already stacked on top of each other correctly. So I don't have to worry about lining it up. So this time we're just going to practice uh, getting the answer instead of practice lining the problem up. We're going to start with our ones column. We have a 5 and we have a 2. So we add 5 and 2 and get 7. And then in our tens column, we add 4 and 3 and we're going to get 7 again. So for example number 4, the answer is 77. Example number five. Okay, so for this example, they've helped us out again. The numbers are already stacked on top of each other correctly in the correct place value position, so we don't have to worry about that. All we need to do is add our numbers and make sure we're carrying our numbers over correctly. So, 8 plus 2 is 10. Now, like I've been saying all along, Whenever we get a two digit number, we cannot fill in both digits directly in that column. You can only put the digit that's in the ones position in that column. So I'm going to put a zero in right here and I'm going to carry that one over. Now it's time for me to add up my second column. I have a one plus two, that gives me three. And then three plus this three gives me six. So I just write that in. I have six. This last column, I only have a 6, so it just gets brought down. That's the same thing as like adding it to 0. This is like a space here, like I explained before. That means it's the same thing as 0. So if I had 6 and I add 0 to 6, then that's just going to give me 6. So the answer to example number 5 is 660. Let's move on to example number 6. Example number 6. Again, it's already lined up. So we just need to make sure we get our carrying done correctly. 8 plus 4 is 12. That's a two digit number. 2 is the number in the ones place. So I'm going to take my 2 and I'm going to write it down, but the 1 is going to get carried over. Now I need to add up this whole column, including this new 1 I put down. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then if I add 3 to 6, it gives me 9. So I'm going to write 9 in right here. I have nothing to carry over. So when it's time for me to add my hundreds column, all I have to do is add the 7 and the 5. And that gives me 12. This time, coincidentally, it's the same as the first time. That's just coincidence. We know that we're only going to write our 2 down. And the 1 gets carried over. But look, there's no numbers over here. We're carrying a 1 over, but over what? There's nothing here. There's This is like the same thing as 2 zero. So if I have 1 plus 0 plus 0, then that's going to give me 1. So let me tell you a trick. Whenever you're dealing with a two-digit answer, and your two-digit answer ends out at the very last part of your problem, and you have nothing to carry a number over, 
that is the only time that you can think of it as writing your answer down your full two digit answer down so before when I've added my eight and my four I got twelve I could only put my two down I had to carry the one but here because when I write my two down if I'm gonna carry my one there's nothing here the one just ends up coming down this is the only time that you can actually write the full number down and you're not writing the twelve only in the single position this one is still in this column over here that has nothing in it okay so I just wanna make sure you understand why this works this is like two imaginary zeros so you're adding one two zeros and that's why that works I'm gonna add a comma in right here because we are dealing with a number that goes to thousands and remember after three digits we add a comma so the answer to example number six is one thousand two hundred ninety two that's my last example thanks for watching